Apart from those settings that are pertaining to the page display type, we can also format the page background and the page wallpaper as well. So if I come back right here to these formats, apart from the canvas settings, I can go to canvas background and you will see that from here, I can actually change the color of the background from the default white that you see there, right? So let's say I go with um, a dark blue. When you choose this color, you don't get to see the result because you also have something that you can use to adjust what the colors fading is going to look like using the transparency option. So at 100% transparency, you don't get to see the effect of the colors, but as you reduce the transparency from 100%, you start to see the effect of the new color that you have brought in. And by the time you get to 0%, you will see that you can see the full color. So I'm just going to go back right here to 100%. And I'll change this color back to white. So another thing that you also find here is that you can actually have an image or a picture as your canvas background. So all you have to do is come right here to this image section. If I click on this browse, this will allow me to browse through my computer. Then I'm basically going to go to my desktop. I think I do have something on my desktop. I have this image called retail. When I click on open, guess what? It's there, but you don't get to see it. And I think you know why now, because the transparency is still at a hundred percent. So I can use this to adjust this and I will take this to 0% transparency and you can see the image, right? Of course, most times when you have images as background like this, they sometimes just serve as watermarks. So most likely you won't have the transparency at 0%. You probably want to have something like 50% or if that's still too dark, you probably want to take it as high as 80%. Of course, yet again, I don't want to use this. So I'm just going to remove that as well. So apart from the canvas background, you can also format the wallpaper. Now, if you're wondering what's the difference between canvas background and wallpaper, you will see that this area where you see the dotted lines basically is what constitutes the canvas. Now you can see a whole lot of white space here. That all forms part of the wallpaper. Now, if I decide to collapse the filter pane, for example, so the more panes you have here, the more spaces you see on your wallpaper. So if I collapse the filter pane, you see that that extra space basically has reduced, right? So if I go to the wallpaper section and let's say I try to change the color to blue, you see that this blue color basically covers everything, including the external space that you see there. But when I change the canvas background to blue, so let's go back, change this one back to white. And then if I go back to change the canvas background to blue, you will see that that only covers for the section above the dotted line. So the area outside is still whitish. So as usual, I'm not comfortable with this at the moment. So I'm going to revert back to white color, transparency, 100%. Then to the wallpaper transparency also 100%.